Hey, welcome to Diode Press, I'm Graham. In this week's video, we're gonna be using a 3D printer to help create a zine about 3D printing. The first step is gonna to be to create the content of the zine. The idea was to give a really basic introduction to 3D printing, covering enough for someone who's heard of 3D printing, but never done any. It's definitely not an exhaustive resource, but I tried to cover all the basic steps involved in using an FDM style printer, or like the most common printer using the plastic filament as the printing medium. I did some hand-drawn illustrations, screen captures, and some vector work to come up with all my sheets and arrange them all in Adobe Illustrator. Next, I brought the cover sheets into Fusion 360 to begin the 3D printing part of this project. There's gonna be three parts of the zine that use 3D printing. The front cover, which I'm gonna print as a printing block and then run it through my etching press, as well as two parts of a stamp that's gonna be included with every zine. And the stamp is the object that's designed within the pages of the zine. Also, a quick shout out to the folks over at Matter Hackers. They asked if I wanted to try out a sample of any of the filaments they carry. And I asked to try out some of the Lay Foam 60, which is a rubbery filament that's infused with PVA. So when you print it, it's basically stiff like a PLA plastic and really easy to print. But after you soak it in water, the PVA glue dissolves and you're left with a kind of a soft rubbery feeling. So first off, I printed the cover and then onto the stamps. I tried printing the stamps in a few different orientations to get the best printing quality with this material and then soak the final prints overnight. I used some of the glow in the dark PLA that I used in the last video to create the handles for the stamps. To begin the cover printing, I glued the cover plate onto a piece of mat board for support and then taped it to my printing press. To print it, I'm using Speedball Pro Relief Ink and printing it on neon cardstock. Keep in mind when I 3D printed the plate and actually printed the cover itself, I wanted it to look a bit rough showing the print lines and gaps. You can print a much smoother version, but it lost a lot of the character of the 3D print. So this was really a conscious design decision. For the logo on the back cover, I'm using a photopolymer plate from a different project. To assemble the stamps, I simply epoxied the flexible top onto the PLA plastic base. I could have just printed it solid out of either material, but I kind of like the look of the mix. To affix this to the zine, I'm using a small command strip so it can be easily removed when you get the zine. And you might notice the cover is a little bit different in this version than some of the other footage. I made a handful one way and then changed the design a bit for easier assembly. I printed off the inside sheets and then use the long reach stapler that I made in the last video to wrap them up. And here's the final zine. And if you'd like to pick one up, there's a link down in the description box to my shop. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks.